Good news, my lovely, wonderful people. On the account that the River State Governor, Sim Fubara, has been, you know, uh, declared the duly elected uh, Governor of River State. Fubara's loyalists face federal government terrorism charges in Abuja today in court. Fubara himself has won, but this is what the federal government, you know, has put on, uh, you know, on Fubara loyalists to make sure that, you know, they bring... They, they humble him. That's the essence. They want to make sure that Fubara have no one. If you get what I mean, they want to make sure that he has no one. You see, so it's it's a is a clear is a clear indication of you know of what they intend to do. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. The federal government has slammed terrorist charges against Rivers against Port Harcourt-based men who allegedly invaded valid and vandalized, burned down the River State House of Assembly last year. These men are said to be loyal to Sim Fubara. The accused persons suspected to be loyal to the governor are accused of committing alleged terrorism offense during the wake-up of political uproar that mocked the Port Harcourt in October last year. They are Chima, AZBK, Prince, and Kenneth, Osa, Osage, and Tangod. Although the immediate past factional speaker of the River State House of Assembly, Edison, has named was named in the seven counters charges, he was, however, said to be at large alongside other suspects. The four alleged terrorist suspects have been, who have been in custody for the anti-terrorist department of the police at the Port Harcourt at the headquarters in Abuja to be arraigned in the Federal High Court in Abuja today. In the charge against them, marked the charge number is there, obtained by a correspondent, the Inspector General of Police, Coyote, is named as the complainant in all of this. Apart from allegedly burning down the State House of Assembly, some of them were said to have killed a superintendent of police and five police informants in the community. The police informant said to have been killed by Charles and Felix. They were also accused of using various cult group, Viking fraternity and others to commit havoc in River State. But the truth of the matter is that these persons did not really do any of this. It is just an accusation to ensure that, you know, they weaken for Barra's camp and make sure that, um, you know, they, they humble them so that uh, those who are loyalists to Fubara will have themselves to blame. So this is exactly what is going on right now. Why Fubara has been declared the duly elected, you know, um, duly elected uh, uh, president, you know, by the court, see what is going on. His loyalists now are being, you know, are now being, you know, chased around with, with court case to ensure that they humble them. Okay. So my people, what do you think? These are the new things going on. And every single person can see that and know indeed that, you know, it is, it is, a, it is, a, it is a game. It is a plot and they want to ensure that they humble or they put every birdie and every person, you know, in a quiet mood so that they have no, they have no, no voice to speak. You know, is 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 a kind of intimidation mm -hmm. tactics. Okay, it's a very clear in intimidation tactics, and every single individual needs to understand that. For us to move forward as a nation, we need to do more. So none of us will sit down there and continue to pretend that all is well. Nigeria, we need honest, sincere people who will do everything humanly speaking possible to bring this nation into the right place. There are people who do not share. Okay, in the very value of this nation, in the moving forward of this nation, and all they share and care about is to ensure that they themselves, they are the ones who, you know, who are getting, you know, getting all that they want to, all that they think they want. But Nigeria must actually move forward and every one of us must actually get to the very bottom of this. So it is what it is. Sinfubara is just unfortunate that you've not been able to really 
you know, put your foot down and say what you mean. You know, I understand that you're trying to play it safe, but playing the game safe at this point in time does not really mean that, you know, you'll be exempted, you know, and you'll be exonerated when the worst come to the worst. Because this is what you are saying, you know, who are working with, uh, who are working with uh, Wiki and the rest. They, they don't really care. They are just working for themselves and they don't care what happens to any other person. So if we want to be very honest and sincere, every one of us needs to begin to understand that, you know, Sim Fubara has come a long way, you know, and um, they want to so everyone or anyone who is associated with him, they just want to humble that person. Okay, ensure that they humble that person, you know, to a very, very, you know, just shutting down your voice and making sure that you cannot speak. It is a very, very intimidating game. You know, it's a very, very intimidating game. Well, my people, you have seen for yourself. And um, the truth is, whatever happens as we go on from here, we all need to understand that Nigerians, every one of us, we are important. We, we have a stake in this matter and we cannot allow you know, uh, selfish, you know, most of them to a large extent are really together, really selfish because if it suits them, then they, they play balls. If it does not suit them, then there is problem, you know. So these are very, very difficult times, challenging if you ask me. And if you want us to really, you know, uh, get the ball rolling, everybody needs to, you know, needs to put their foot down and say, you know what, enough is enough. You can't get us and intimidate us at the same time. It doesn't work that way, you know. So this is what it is. And everybody is beginning to look and we want to see, you know, want to see what will happen at the end of the day. We want to make sure that there's light at the end of the tunnel and every single person can enjoy Nigeria. It is what it is, okay? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Remember that if Nigeria move forward, we all will enjoy it. If this country comes to a place where the people, you know, are able to really enjoy, you know, a, a good governance, everybody will enjoy it. Every single person will enjoy it. So let's not, uh, let's not, uh, you, know, you know, let's not leave ourselves in the hands of, you know, those who have no iota of truth. And all they are thinking about is me, myself and I. So please leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Have a fantastic day from us. It's bye for now.